Good morning, designers, and welcome to episode 128, maybe, of Game of Rugs. So it's been a tense week. I have not done any forward planning for this episode, so we are just going to run a regular episode, and I hope that you enjoy it. So where are where to start? I think uh, we could start with the new limited edition and today's daily. So we have Autumn Grove and Lavender Meadows as new limited edition sets. I have purchased one of each. Here's the thing, 100% I am like, that. I hate purple, that green is so much better. I, I, I actually bought the Autumn Grove first, and then I was like, this is really boring to work with. So I bought the Lavender Meadows, and even though I'm not a big fan of purple, I'm having so much fun using it. Um, one of the places I'm not having fun using anything is in today's daily. I would like to get above a four because I love me a free chandelier and that one's very cool. And it's going to be super cool for, um, rustic things. I'm looking forward to Christmas. I'm just going to deck everything out in antlers. Dead reindeer is my preferred Christmas theme. Um... But that's not, so I, yeah, oh, sorry. So what I meant to show you is how poorly, how poorly I am doing with this room. And the answer is really quite poorly. Uh, sorry, we are having a cosmic event thing. And uh, there's, the internet's very slow. So this is this is what I've been able to do. This this room is not it's not calling my name. So let's go to another room that I also did not think was going to be calling my name and was very surprised about. Okay, so this room this room looks to me like an updated version of the hotel in The Shining. Like, I, I don't want to stay there. I also don't want anyone I love to stay there. And also, a landslide is about to come down the mountain behind it and kill everybody inside. I mean, it's, it's a natural warmth. I mean, I guess if you light it on fire, sure. But otherwise, I have to say, I'm not seeing it. So I did not expect to like this room. And also, you know how I feel about bundle dumps, but then I bundle dumped this room and I love it so much. I, I feel like I actually need to apologize for how much I love this room, but the answer is a lot. I love this room a lot. And uh, so I filled a room I don't like and a house I don't like with a limited edition I don't like and bundle dumped it, which is a tactic I don't like. And I, I, I'm, I'm loving it. I am McLoving this room. So we're going to submit this and we're going to do some voting for that. So let us submit and we will do some vote. Turquoise waters. Um, I struggled with this room. I can't remember what the remit was. The one I just saw and ignored. This is supposed to be an outdoor room. I'm so confused. And neither one of those rooms is good either, by the way. Well, I mean, an effort is being made in the room on the top. More of an effort is being made on the room on the bottom. Neither one of these efforts is very good. I think we're just going to have to vote them equal. And move on. I mean, I feel like really more of an effort was made on the bottom. And also, I feel like this is one of those people who 
maybe like saved up all their diamonds to buy a couple of pieces of a limited edition stuff and I should be more supportive of their life choices but I'm not sorry your dog's very cute I'm sorry about your room okay the person on the bottom gives no fucks the person on the top is doing actually a this is it, it's fun they I like the fact that that so they're using this ombre rug that goes from like deep red through orange to white and they put their deep red chairs on the deep red side of the rug that's very clever um i think this room might have come together and been cooler if instead of going to a bizarre mint green that speaks to nothing they had gone to white but um you know there's a there's something an effort was made we're voting for the room on the top the room on the bottom is actually nice. I really like those. I like everything. Okay. I like everything. This. What do I like? I like these chairs. I like these chairs that if I had more than $859, I'd go buy them. They're really nice. I'm going to remember those chairs. I always say that. That's a huge lie. Um, also, look, they use this really nice choice for an ottoman. We do like some pattern in our lives. This is one of my favorite coffee tables. I mean, there are like nine brands that make this coffee table. And you can spend diamonds or you can spend money or whatever. But it's a good coffee table. Very useful. Like that. Love uh, this leather bench. And the couch, I mean, I don't think anybody looking at this room would notice the brown. I could be wrong. The only thing in this room I'm not sure about is the end tables, which are gold and don't really seem responsive to the rest of the room. I would have chosen wooden ones, but this is a really good room. I think this is probably a high... I was going to, I thought maybe this was like level 97 art or something. And it was going to make my point that this is a high level level player who has experience and thus their shit together. I was, there's, there's no indications here of what level this player is, but that's a good room. And we're voting for that. New York living. Well done. Good job. Um, the room on the top is fine. The room on the bottom is also fine. Neither one of them is nice. Okay. I hope this is less awful. I looked at this room and I did not know what way to go because there are both purple and green outside the windows and then the chandelier was tinted purple and I can't remember what I did but we're going to go look and um, a minute, but I'm pretty sure that what I did was better than either one of these rooms. So, no. Also, not digging it. I mean, we're going to vote for the room on the top because it has a rug. And th that's where we are with that room. Oh, okay. Well, an effort was made. It's a bizarre effort. This room would have hung it much better. Much better with, I think, really any other rug. Like, just any blue rug. I see why this rug was chosen. Because this designer is trying to tie in a lot of colors. But it's, um... Like, this is a really modern room. And this is a really antique rug. And it's weird. But we're voting for it anyway. The person on the bottom went purple. Okay, we got to talk about this this couch. I won this couch along with everybody else. If you have found a chair that matches this couch from any designer for any amount of money or any amount of diamonds, please comment below because I'm desperate at this point. I just desperate. Um, 
anyway, choices were made here. Some of them are weird, but I like the room on the bottom, and we're voting for that. It's actually not bad. I like the little... Um, these, these things. Like weird flex, but I like it. They're weird, but it's good. I like this room. It could use a little more pimping, but but good good choice. Oh, okay, so the person on the top went for that pink plaid rug, which we saw a lot of last week. Um, but the room on the bottom is actually nice. I mean, it's very gray. It's a bit dismal, but I prefer it to the room on the top. We're voting for that. Oh, come on. All right, all we're doing is voting. I'm so sorry. Every Oh, my God. The room. The room that divided a nation. This is the room that divided a nation. And as with our presidential election, and as with our presidential election, we are all anxiously awaiting the outcome of this room. I loved it. I was like, yes, yeah, something different. Thank God. Give me a break. Fun, fun, fun. And other people are like, this is the worst room in the history of humanity. And um, I'm voting for the room on the bottom, who I think did a good job. Good job. Not a good job. But neither one of these is... Yeah, no. Sorry, sis. Okay. Um, I am interested in the rooms... Where people made a real effort, even if it's a weird, pardon me, effort. Like, let's look at this room. The bot they just, they did, they went full out for turquoise, which is great. I tried to use the turquoise and green rug to make this tie-in with the green wall. And I'm, I'm not sure how successful that was, but I am sure it's more successful than the room on the top. So we're going there. Uh, well, on the bottom, the art goes. There's nothing between these. Okay, well, a lot of effort was made on top. None was made on the bottom. And does, does this color turquoise go with the lime green? Hell no. But... You know, it's, sometimes you have to acknowledge that people are doing a good job with, with what they can do. Okay, so back to design. You have enough keys to enter. Thank God that was twice as much voting as I thought we were going to do. This is my entry for The Shining. Submit, design, continue. Okay. Okay. So I have had a not terrible week. Um, I got a five yesterday with a room I was so delighted by. I felt like I was super adventurous with this room, um, going for the natural colors and then using the turquoise and orange. And... Um, like, there's no bundle dumping going on in my room. This is somebody saved up all their stuff. This room is lovely. But a lot of the rooms that are here are lovely. And when I get a five and the rooms that they're up against are lovely, I'm much more proud of it. And when I get a five and the room that they're, the results they're up against are not uniform bundle dumps and I've done something slightly daring, I'm three times as proud. So really, I I this the score made my week. I also had another five earlier in the week. Um, this I thought was brave. I went all in with the yellow and blue thing. I used this rug that does not traditionally score very well. This art, which is the only art that goes with it, and um, I really really loved this room. And I was so happy when I opened it up and I got a five. And I opened it up and I got a five against where, where other rooms that scored fives um, were also quite 
Were they varied? No, not really. I mean, brown, black and taupe is a perfectly good choice to make, but that choice was made a lot. And then we had this and taupe, which was the previous week's bundle. So yeah, I was really happy with this five. Um, and God knows I needed some fives. Oh my God, there's another one. Okay, baby, we are back. Uh, I won a chandelier. I leveled up at some point last week to level, not, I think it's level 61. And it arrived with these pink and white trees, uh, pink and white vases, and this pink and white art. And I tried to use it and did not score well with it because I was making poor choices. Um, but I actually liked this room when I put it together. I thought it was pretty daring. I didn't think it was going to score particularly well. I was thinking it was going to get like a 4-6. And it got a 5. And I got to use this rug, which I never get to use. And it's so different than the other 5s. I am delighted with myself. Delighted with myself. These are nice rooms. <gasps> that room's gorgeous. I want to eat it. Um, uh, to be fair, I currently want to eat everything because yes, I am. I am eating my feelings. Um, and my feelings are anxiety, so much anxiety. Like I know everything's going to be fine, but I just need us to get to fine. Um, and, and I'd like there to be a minimum amount of bloodshed along the way, which I am genuinely very concerned about. So I've been doing a lot of rooms as therapy. You know what? Fair enough. God, I tried. I kept trying this room. This is like the ninth version of this room I did. Every single one of them sucked out loud. Just awful. So bad. But at that point, I had put so much the, the fallacy of sunk costs. I had put so much time into this room that I couldn't bear to not submit it. And I did. And I was suitably punished. And everybody else's room was nicer than mine. Literally every single room. What, like, why could I not see? Why could I not see my way to doing a room that didn't look like it was done by a trash panda? I don't know. Anyway, 4.43, that was deserved. Ah! Oh my god. I'm so excited. I didn't think I had enough stuff to do this, but then I was... I think it's an elite challenge, and I was able to borrow the sideboard at the back, and it didn't really match that well, but I uh, had the chairs. I think there are house chairs, and they went with this rug that I also had, and I put this room together, and I thought, well, geez, I really like it, but it is quite understated, and sometimes that is not our friend. Um, like, not understated. Also not understated. Very nice, though. Nice chairs. Nice. Um, but, uh, yeah. I'm surprised. I'm delighted. I bought those tables. They were the cheapest tables that met the requirement um and i'm so excited that it went well wow okay that's two fives i saw people get lots of fives with this i think a lot of us did rooms that were really similar um the rooms that scored fives like all of us did rooms that are really similar you're choosing between two sides of a dime here mine probably wasn't as good as some of these other ones um this person used the same cocktail table i did they they use better art but i will say that i'm pissed because these were my last limited edition art pieces that i used here on the wall 
and I thought they were going to push me over into a five, and I was wrong. But on the other hand, I got fives on rooms I didn't think were going to score fives, so that's okay. Seychelles on the shore. Oof. Okay, I guess I guess we're not going for soothing neutrals this week. I mean, I'm going for soothing anything I can get my hands on this week, but sure. What? Okay. Well, some of us are going for soothing neutrals this week. I don't know what's going on here. That's very cool. Love those rugs. Um, okay, fine. I mean, I guess it's boring. Fair enough. Dinner with a view. 4.64. Also boring. Fine. Fair enough. Reasonable score. Much better room. Much better. Like, same colorway, but just much better execution. Yeah, all these people deserve their fives. I deserve my 4.64, or even a lower score than that. So, that's pretty much that. Um, so, wow, I'm super happy. I feel like the, the weeks where we don't have limited editions are the rooms where I personally score, are the weeks where my rooms score best, and um, my scores have been so shit lately that four fives in I don't know how many days since the fifth is a really good score, um, and uh, is a really good scoring trend for me, and I'm happy with that. So, I hope you all are happy as well. I hope we all get to be happy very, very soon. May I also suggest that Nevada hire some unemployed strippers to get in there and count their fucking ballots already because those women know how to do two things. Work really hard and count money super fast and we would have those ballots tabulated like also, it's important to support sex workers. Right. Okay. So on that weird note, uh, goodbye. Thanks so much for joining me today. If you enjoyed this episode, please give it a thumbs up. And if you would like to see future episodes of Game of Rugs, please feel free to join us. We would love to have you. Bye now.